Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays. This week, we are going to be playing with Grave Digger Inverse. And of course, we are playing Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. It looks like our first opponent is going to be Backwards Bob. And we are playing in the big show. We're continuing our big show adventure. This is the stadium championship. We're off. Now, I made the mistake of setting the stadium champion. Whoa, hello. <laughs> mm, I got to hit those those jammers dead on. Otherwise, I go fly it all over the place. Anyway, I made the mistake of setting the stadium championship early on to easy. <laughs> and so we're kind of stuck in it. I kind of feel like I'm too far into it at this point to go back and, and do this again on a different difficulty level. But it, it is really too easy, despite the fact that I am flying all over the place. Maybe I need to concentrate here. Oh my gosh. But you know what? Even though I'm flying all over the place, I've already caught up to Backwards Bob. Hello, Backwards Bob. Which way are you going? I can't tell because you're Backwards Bob. <laughs> anyway, I gotta hit these jammers straight on. That's much better, although I still went off to the side. My gosh. Yep, I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. We, we beat Backwards Bob. And that was... I mean, I still lapped him, but, you know. Cool, all right, let's 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 examine Gravedigger inverse just a little bit better here. So, typical Gravedigger, normal Gravedigger, he's got kind of green mists amongst all of the tombstones there on the bottom, and he's got kind of purple fog up in the air, whereas inverse, it's, well, it's inverted, it's reversed. You've got the purple fog on the bottom, and the green mists up in the air. So, I mean, it's, it's really cool, and you got white, instead of black and you got uh, on the BKT tires instead of black BKT tires you got the white BKT tires it looks very similar I mean obviously to the Spin Master toy and of course since I'm here in Camp Crushmore I have to come over and take out the water tower because that's what I do every time I'm in Camp Crushmore I'm gonna do a video that's a little bit more in depth on Gravedigger Inverse later on but for now Let's beat up Sparkle Smash. <laughs> Come on, Sparkle Smash. I got your number. Ah, jeez. I really need to work on hitting those uh, jammers dead on because I'm going to fly in every which direction. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think this is, we're in Detroit, and this this stadium has, there we go, that's a little bit better. Those jammers are just, they, you come around the corner real sharp, and if you don't hit those dead on, ooh, let's see if I can land on Sparkle Smash. Ooh! <laughs> there we go. If you don't hit them dead on, you just go flying every which direction, off into the crowd even. There we go. Nice jump. I wonder if the real life trucks have to deal with that kind of stuff. They probably do. All right, that's our three laps. We did it. <laughs> All right, looks like next up we're going to go against regular Grave Digger. So, yeah, you can kind of see the differences on regular Grave Digger compared to Grave Digger inverse. I'm not sure which one I like better. Hey, leave a comment below. Tell me which one you like better, Grave Digger or Grave Digger Inverse. Nice. So this video, my son, Joseph, of course, is he is my resident Grave Digger fan. He's going to be a little disappointed that I'm doing this video without him. But you know what? He's at school, and I wanted to get this video put out a couple weeks ago when I was doing all the Grave Digger videos, but I got sick. I, I think my kids brought home COVID or something, and I was really sick for a good two weeks, and I just didn't get a chance to get this video finished, so it didn't get out in time, but I'm doing it now, and unfortunately I have to do it without Joseph because he's in school, 
Yeah, you can kind of see the difference between Gravedigger and Gravedigger Inverse there. But like I said, I'm going to do a video later on where I'm comparing like all of the different DLCs for... Uh, all the different DLC trucks for for Steel Titans 2. But right now, I'm really enjoying doing the Fire and Ice series. Ooh, son of a digger. Yeah, I'm, doing, I'm really enjoying doing the Fire and Ice series for Steel Titans 1. So I'm going to keep doing that for right now. But eventually, I will get to uh, the DLC for, for Steel Titans 2 and compare all of those trucks to do kind of a little in-depth review on them. go son of a digger is a cool truck too I like it yeah. our tires are rubbing come on get out of the way son of a digger <laughs> so yeah I think I'm almost done with the big show here at the stadium championship. Once I'm done, nice. Once I'm done with the stadium championship, I'm going to uh, move on to New Game Plus. Nice. Hey, but if you're enjoying this series so far, do me a huge favor, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Smash that like button too. It really helps these videos get out to more people. Let's me know I'm doing a good job and that you want to see more videos like this. With that, let's get moving on to our two wheel skills. Oh, that is not very skilled. <laughs> Oops. I hope that didn't count. So, I mean, as you can see, I am also playing without the, um, the HUD, the heads up display. Ooh, there we go. So, you know, I don't get to see when I'm getting a combo that actually counts or any of that. It adds a little bit of an extra challenge. Nice. Nice stoppy. Good. But, you know, not much because it's on easy. I pretty much can do any kind of a trick and I know that I'm getting in first place. Yeah, there we go. I'm done. That's the only thing is I'm not quite sure when I'm done, especially on two wheel skills. Like, when did I finish it? Yeah, I got first place. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, next up, time destruction. Nice. Get the porta potties, all the chicken boxes. <laughs> Lots of stuff to destroy here on this map. The dice blocks with all the balloons coming out. Crush those buses. <laughs> so yeah, I think Friday evenings, I'm gonna release uh, just videos of me going through Steel Titans 2, New Game Plus, and then after New Game Plus, I think I'm gonna go back and see if I can get first place on all of the career mode. Let's see if we can get a backflip. Oh, not quite. Oh, man, that went way up in the air. There we go, a little bit better. Ah, I still miss all those blimps though. Come on, let's go around the other side so if we can get it. But hey, if there's something you want to see in Steel Titans 2 you want me to do or another game, you let me know, leave a comment. I'm happy to do it. I'm just having a lot of fun in Steel Titans right now. Woo, there we go, get all those blimps. Crush the buses. That is one thing, you know, when you set it to easy, you can kind of just play and have fun. Not worry, not stress too much about it, you know, performing well. You just kind of go and have fun and have the freedom to try new things. Try out stunts that you didn't, you wouldn't uh, think of doing otherwise in other modes. Okay, the timer's running out. I can hear the beeps. I'm sure we're in first place. Let's see. Here we go. 
there it is. Yes, thank you, my adoring fans. First place. All right, moving on to our final event for this episode. It's going to be our freestyle event here in Detroit. Very cool. That's a nice little sky wheelie. And a stoppy there and a moonwalk. Okay, hey, so I need some help. Settle this debate for me. Is it a stoppy or a nose wheelie? What's the difference? What is that? A stoppy or a nose wheelie? What do you think? I've heard it both ways. Of course, when you go backwards, that's a moonwalk. I think everybody knows that that's a moonwalk when you're going backwards on those front two wheels. But I've heard, you know, just kind of sitting on your front wheels, that's a stoppy. And I've always thought, ooh, that's a good sky wheelie right there. But I've always heard that when you're moving forward, Good backflip. I missed the... Ah, oh, come on. Missed the beacon. But anyway, I've always heard that when you're moving forward, that would be a nose wheelie. But then I've seen other people where you're just stopped and you're not moving anywhere, that that's also a nose wheelie. And so it helps settle the debate. Is it a stoppy or a nose wheelie? Maybe I'll make a poll on the, on the community tab and let you guys... Help me decide, is it stoppy or nose wheeling? <laughs> anyway. All right, let's do a corkscrew, nice. Not quite a corkscrew, almost. Let's see if we can do a better corkscrew. Come on, here we go. Oh, backflip, almost a double backflip, nice. Big air. Very good, very good. Wah! <laughs> All right, let's finish off with some donuts. Nice, there we go. No, a little bit of a wheelie there. There's a wheelie, I like it. That's so cool. Oh, and I got the beacon too. Awesome. I'm really milking the overtime right now. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's it. Oh, the timer must have gone out. All right. Well, that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the video that you see on the screen right now. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you on the flip side. Later.